Their unfolding humanitarian tragedy in Gaza, the peril of innocent lives. In the recent weeks, Gaza has witnessed a heart wrenching humanitarian crisis, with the relentless Israeli bombardment leading to an unprecedented loss of innocent lives, particularly children. The situation is dire, as more than 724 Palestinian children have lost their lives since October 7. The crisis escalated when Israeli forces targeted convoys of Palestinian evacuees attempting to flee the northern Gaza Strip following an Israeli evacuation order. This order, issued with just 24 hours' notice, prompted panic as families rushed to escape to the south. Tragically, there are no safe routes amid destroyed roads and ongoing Israeli attacks. The situation further underscores the human suffering in Gaza. This evacuation order was applicable to all, including United Nations staff and those sheltered in UN facilities, including schools, health centers, and clinics. Shafer Hospital in Gaza City alone has provided refuge for at least 40,000 internally displaced Palestinians, resulting in crowded corridors, hospital grounds, and clinics. The people's refusal to leave illustrates the harsh conditions they face. Israeli forces initiated a large-scale military operation, Operation Iron Swords, following rocket attacks by Palestinian armed groups and the breach of the Israeli perimeter fence around Gaza. The consequences have been devastating, with at least 2,215 Palestinians, including 724 children, losing their lives in the Gaza Strip since the conflict began. Israeli forces and settlers have also killed 15 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank, adding to the anguish. The intensifying bombardment in Gaza, a lack of electricity, damaged telecommunications infrastructure, and the rising number of child fatalities have created a delay between the documented child fatalities by TSIP and the official child fatality count by the Ministry of Health in Gaza. The growing number of internally displaced persons, IDPs, in Gaza is hard to quantify as mass displacement continues. Over 423,378 people have fled their homes, with more than 262,000 internally displaced Palestinians sheltering in UN facilities, while over 153,000 are hosted by relatives and neighbors. However, with countless families fleeing due to the evacuation order, it's impossible to determine the exact number of IDPs. The electricity blackout since the 11th of October, caused by Israeli authorities' actions, has exacerbated the existing food crisis, as refrigeration is impossible, and agricultural activity has halted. The water crisis, triggered by the Israeli cut-off of the water supply, has left the majority of Gazans without access to clean drinking water, raising fears of waterborne diseases. Furthermore, Israeli airstrikes have disrupted mobile communication in Gaza, and there are concerns about potential loss of internet connectivity. More than 1,300 Israelis have lost their lives in Palestinian armed group attacks. Under international law, genocide is strictly prohibited, encompassing the deliberate killing of a significant number of people from a specific nation or ethnic group, with the aim of destroying that nation or group in part or whole. The current situation, marked by civilian deaths and unbearable living conditions, raises concerns about potential violations of international law. International humanitarian law prohibits indiscriminate and disproportionate attacks and obligates all parties in an armed conflict to differentiate between military targets, civilians, and civilian objects. The use of explosive weapons in densely populated civilian areas is considered indiscriminate, and direct attacks on civilians or civilian objects are war crimes. Since 2007, Israeli authorities have imposed a strict closure policy on Gaza, affecting the flow of goods, services, and people. The situation highlights the urgent need for international intervention to prevent further loss of life and alleviate the suffering of the people in Gaza. The international community must address this crisis promptly and work toward a peaceful resolution that respects human rights and safeguards innocent lives.